Well, so that's it guys. Welcome to our camp. We're busy setting up camp. It is quite chilly. So it's time to get dressed a bit warmer. Oh, that's much, much better guys. So yeah, we're all dressed up and for the night to come. Um, they predicted a brisky 9 degrees Celsius for tonight. So we've got the fire going and uh, the boys are all kitted out. And um, yeah, we've been planning this trip for quite a while, meaning to take uh, get the boys here um, to do some uh, war talk hunting. So on the hunt, uh, we brought the two rifles with, uh, old uh, Lee Enfield 303 and uh, the 308, the trusty 308. And um, yeah, the boys will be hunting with the two rifles and I'll be guiding them. Oh, well, our quarters is here in the back of the bucky, so this is where the boys and myself will be spending the night and um, got an awesome view here from the back of the canopy just started a fire and um, are just taking in the scenery and um, yeah we are excited for tomorrow um, this area that we in at the year is the perfect location and habitat for mountain reedbuck and um, we managed to spot a couple, not today, but on a previous occasion, uh, Yulani and myself, and um, got all these valleys, nooks and crannies, where they can hide in the brush and bed down. And um, yeah, unlike with the warthog, uh, they like more the open plains. And there's a really nice spot down at the bottom on this side. And if you look here at the back, you can see there's some nice open flat plains right here in the background and um, yeah hopefully that is where we will spot some tomorrow and uh, we'll be hunting on foot and that's the idea and we'll park the bucky off at some spot and then just um, explore the terrain and yeah, hopefully there's there's some warthog around and yeah, they're quite a nuisance for the farmers around in this area and um, yeah, they mess up fences and water pipes and linings and all of that type of thing so they don't mind at all um, if, if you hunt them and like I said previously yeah, we've got permission from the landowner um, to, to hunt a couple so yeah, hopefully we'll manage a couple thanks for joining us guys it's going to be absolutely awesome hi guys um, looking forward to um, our hunting experience Morning guys, um, yeah, we just woke up here and um, it's going to be an absolutely beautiful day. Um, didn't have a bad night's rest, it was actually quite good and um, yeah, checking out the sunrise here. Going to start a fire and um, get something to chow before we make our way out for the day's hunting. And um, yeah, Peter, how did you sleep all right? Good. Oh, it was nice, <laughs> awesome. So yeah, let uh, Matthew's ranging a um, a bird. <laughs> guinea fowls. A guinea fowl. There's some guinea fowls around. Uh, thank you, Peter. <laughs> so yeah, well, the tutu is ready. We might just take one out. Just had some coffee. Uh, got the fire going, I'm uh, going to buy some boars for breakfast, um, some sausage 
and um, then we're gonna make our way to the felt and yeah got the 308 and 303 ready um, both of them we are shooting with hand loads um, on the 308 we've got the 168 grain Hornady interlocks and on the 303 174 grain uh, interlocks um, so it will be interesting to see how they perform um, if we're lucky enough to get something this morning and we're really looking forward to it. It's 8 o'clock. We were planning anyway to start our mission here from 9 o'clock um, as soon as the war talks start coming out and um, grazing. So yeah, old thumbs guys just spotted a bush buck. So we were lucky enough this morning, spotted some baboons, a couple of diker, um, three actually, but yeah, the grass is quite long on this side, so I don't think um, oh, we're going to have any luck with the, with the war dogs, but there's a lot of wildlife around, and it's quite cool, uh, awesome, getting a bit of shade here. Hij is kast papa. Op een hitte om hij plat te papa. Yes, mooi man. Ja, papa. Wie koort dat hier nog? Ja, papa. Dat is geen man. Ja, mooi papa. Is de de rifle safe? At long last, guys, we we got our war dog. 
and you know what I, I pictured it in my mind is exactly what happened and they were actually down in this field grazing and there were two of them um, decided to take a shot on the one at the back uh, it looked like the bigger one and um, yeah we're happy um, he's down and uh, we're gonna collect it um, field dress it and we're gonna show you guys yeah war talk we're happy that's what we came here for um, actually wanted the boys to to shoot and to hunt but they uh, persisted that I need to uh, sh um, shoot it and um, yeah Koga water guys <laughs> happy days happy days and yeah it just shows you now we passed up those three warthog uh, the smaller ones and um, uh, which and in my mind wasn't ethical to shoot and we got rewarded for that um, and then that's exactly what I'm trying to teach the boys while we're out on the field here um, you know the ethics of hunting and and um, that, that there's a lesson learned um, and well, great feeling, awesome feeling. Uh, 308 did, did the job. I'm um, really happy. So let's go and have a look. The warthog, really happy. Um, this one is going to go for salami. And one of the big reasons why the farmer let us hunt them is they do quite a bit amount of damage in these fields. And um, they are really stoked and happy um, that we could harvest this one. And uh, definitely um, some cheese grillers and salami coming up but uh, also a really good ethical experience for the boys and, and that is what, what I was after um, for them with this experience. We passed up um, three warthog, um, small ones, and we got rewarded with this one. Um, nice specimen, really nice specimen. And um, oh, good times guys and thanks for joining us on this Smith expedition.